faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it, and it'll just rip, and I'm terrified by this. The night sky is changing right now in a way that will make it impossible to recognize in a few decades, if not years. Astronomers all over the world have sent out an alert. Neil deGrasse Tyson and other experts have just revealed that Polaris is about to blow up, and the story behind it is scary. Its unique place as the North Star comes from the fact that it is in the middle of the night sky. Polaris was the one thing that scientists, navigators, and people who look at the stars could always count on. Until now, this could change soon, and when it does, our night sky and methods for measuring the stars could also change. It will never be the same. Come with us as we talk about how dangerous this threat is and what it means for all of us. As Polaris's story comes to a close, let's look into it. Polaris has been respected for a long time as the North Star that guides sailors and scientists for hundreds of years as a way to find their way. Its steady appearance in the night sky has been an important part of using the starry sky at night. But everything could change in an instant. A new study given by the prestigious Royal Astronomical Society in September 2023 has put a shadow of doubt over the fate of this bright star in the sky. The star is about to blow up, and then it will never be seen again in the night sky. For now, let's look at the star before we talk about what this means. Polaris, which is also called the North Star or the Pole Star, is one of the most important stars in the sky because it is close to the heavenly North Pole. It's almost straight above the North Pole of the Earth, which makes it look like it's not moving in the sky over the North. It's in the constellation Ursa Minor, which is also called the Little Dipper or the Small Dipper. In terms of size, Polaris is a yellow-white supergiant star that isn't too bright, a star that is much farther away than our Sun but much bigger and brighter than it. Its diameter is thought to be 40 times that of the Sun. People often think of Polaris as a single star, but it is actually one of three stars that form a complicated triangle galaxy of stars. Polaris AA and Polaris UB are the main stars, which look like a single star to the human eye. These two and a third object, Polaris B, move around in the pair. The way these stars interact with each other makes a gravity pull that shapes their paths and changes how each of them acts. Such complex processes also change the brightness and properties of the stars involved. Since these relationships can go wrong, any changes to them can cause the star's patterns of brightness or pulses, but we don't yet know the exact ways these relationships work or how complicated they are. What we do know is that Polaris is 323 light years away. In other words, the light from Polaris is the same now as it was 323 years ago. Because Polaris is so far away, we wouldn't know about an explosion there until 323 years later when we see the event from Earth. It will have been going on for more than 300 years. As you might expect, expert statements are based on the real-world facts we see, so Polaris might have already burst by now, but we haven't seen it yet, still haven't seen the light from that event. The North Star has been important to many countries and times throughout history, giving important societal, geographical, and symbolic value. Because it stays in the same place near the heavenly North Pole, it is very useful. Ancient sailors and explorers used it to help them find their way. It was a sort of guiding light that helped sailors find their way across the seas. It was a good point of reference because it was almost straight on with the Earth's axis, a way to figure out which way to go, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. In many traditions, Polaris is a sign of something important. In some cultures, it stood for steadiness and consistency. It's also thought of as a pole star that has stayed put in the middle of the dance of the stars in the sky at night. In stories and folktales, it often stood for direction, security, or an anchor in the sky. It was also very important for measuring galactic distances and setting instruments. These pulsations follow a pattern that can be predicted. At least that's how the star usually acts, which makes it easy to guess what the pattern will be. But lately, the star hasn't been acting the way people usually expect it to. Astronomers have no idea why its pulse cycle isn't regular in this disturbing way. A better look at this strange thing in the sky, Polaris's pulsations are no longer following a regular pattern. Instead, they are becoming more random, a random loop of getting darker and brighter. There is now a lot of talk about the problem among scientists who say the star may be almost dead. This fits with what we see when a star is getting close to the end of its life. The steadily lengthening of Polaris's pulse period, which had been steady in its cycle of fading and lighting, 
is caused by the way the stars engage with each other that we think of as one. From our end, we can see that the yearly increase in the length of the pulses stays the same at 4 minutes and 5 seconds. It might not seem important, but it is. The changes in Polaris's atmosphere may have been caused by the stars interacting with each other, factors that have a direct effect on its heartbeat patterns. But some people are not convinced. They think the star will blow up soon. There's a good reason to think this because Polaris's strange behavior is very similar to the star Betelgeuse. Like Polaris, Betelgeuse, a bright star in the constellation Orion, has shown discouraging changes in its brightness, which have led to rumors of a possible imminent explosion. An awful lot of experts have already warned that the star will end soon. Changes seen in both stars' brightness and patterns are similar, which makes them very interesting similarities in the way they behave during their sunset stages. Said stars show these kinds of trends in how they act before they reach where their life cycles come to an end. Even though these celestial bodies have been pulsing regularly for eons, they go through strange changes in how bright they are as the end of their trips through the stars draws near. NASA was very interested in the strange things that Betelgeuse was doing. The agency's increased worry about Betelgeuse's possible blast is different from the strange things that have been seen in Polaris. Even though NASA is very interested in and alert to Betelgeuse's strange behavior, Concern and similar close attention have not yet been officially announced for Polaris, said stars start a long trip through different stages of their growth. When stars are young, their temperatures and brightness are not very high. After this, they move on to the major sequence phase, which is marked by nuclear fusion where they stay the same for billions of years. As their hydrogen fuel runs out, they eventually move into the red giant phase, which is marked by the warmth and brightness rising quickly. During the red giant phase, the star's energy output goes through a huge jump, which ends in a terrible explosion. A supernova is the name for the bright show that happens when they shed their upper layers. A white dwarf is the name for the thick, compact body that is left over after an explosion. Polaris's uneven pulses have led experts to believe that the star has entered the stages of helium loss that can be seen in said stars that are getting close to the end of their lives. When a said star runs out of steady helium, it goes through irregular pulsations which change how bright it is. This loss sets off a chain of events that can cause light sources to be off at odd times, possibly showing how Polaris is going through the depletion process. It's important to keep in mind, though, that while these strange things do match up with behaviors, proof that Polaris is really showing said star behavior in their dusk stages, getting close to the end of its life cycle, is still not clear. Astronomers are still looking into and trying to figure out what these strange events mean. What will happen to Polaris? It's likely that Polaris going supernova would be a beautiful sight in the sky. The star would suddenly get so bright that it might be brighter than the moon, becoming one of the brightest things in the night sky. This might go on for days, weeks, or even months. It's possible that the star will look very different. It might change into a bright point of light or a moving object, and it might even glow bright colors before going away. We, on the other hand, would be completely safe. Polaris's size and weight make it likely that the Earth would be safe even if the star were to blow up. A Polaris explosion might not be as impressive to look at as a Betelgeuse explosion. It might still be bright enough to see with the human eye for a long time and outshine nearby stars. Many astronomers and telescopes would pay attention, as well as scientists in general and stargazers all over the world, who would be interested in the event. Still, the exact site and effect on Earth's atmosphere or surroundings would be less important than a supernova event that happens closer. What about the star, though? Along the edge of a possible stellar event, what will happen after the disaster of the North Pole? Let us clear this up. A supernova is generally how big stars die, but this probably won't be the case with Polaris. Usually, when a very large star goes supernova, it has a huge blast inside it. This is the last terrible thing that will happen in that star's life, leading to the spreading out of heavy elements and sometimes the creation of neutron stars or black holes. As part of this process, the core of a high-mass star falls apart completely, having about eight times the mass of our sun. When this kind of star runs out of nuclear fuel, it can't keep itself going on its own. Its own gravity makes its center fall apart. This fall sets off a strong shock wave that spreads outward and blows up the star in a violent way. Supernovae can be roughly divided into two groups based on how they explode, type 1 and type 2. 
Type II supernovae happen when the heart of a very large star with many layers falls, and the top layers are thrown off explosively, making a flash of light and energy that can be seen from very far away. Type I explosions, on the other hand, happen when two stars collide and one of them explodes, a white dwarf. One possibility is that the partner star gets bigger and throws stuff out into space on its way around the white dwarf. If the white dwarf gets enough mass from the partner star, it will reach a certain point, and it goes through a nuclear fusion process when its mass reaches about 1.4 times that of the sun, leading to a sudden blast that lets out a huge amount of energy. If two white stars are in a binary system and their paths break down, this is another case. They can join because they are losing energy. The total mass is higher than the critical limit, which starts a similar rapid fusion process and the explosion that follows. Because these Type I candles are always bright, they can be used as standard candles for measuring how far away things are in space. For that reason, we use them to guess how old the universe is and how fast it is expanding. When the heart of a star falls apart after a supernova, it will either make a neutron star or a black hole. The incredible density of a neutron star is what makes it stand out. A mass about 1.4 to 3 times that of the sun is contained within a small area about the size of a city, no bigger than 12 miles, 20 kilometers, across. The main thing that makes them up are neutrons, which are tiny particles' cores of atoms. A black hole, on the other hand, is infinitely thick and has a gravitational pull that is so strong that not even light can escape it. This is why they look black in the vastness of space. With no rays that can be seen with radiation, it's important to understand that Polaris, while exhibiting unusual behavior, is not expected to end its life in a supernova explosion like some other massive stars. Instead, the irregular pulsations and changes observed in Polaris suggest it may be nearing the end stages of its life cycle characterized by the loss of helium and changes in its brightness patterns. Astronomers continue to monitor Polaris closely to understand these changes better. While it's fascinating to speculate about the potential outcomes of its evolution, such as whether it might eventually become a white dwarf or undergo other transformations, the exact future of Polaris remains uncertain. In conclusion, Polaris has played a significant role in human navigation, culture, and scientific endeavors for centuries as the North Star. Now, as it shows signs of change, scientists are eager to unravel its mysteries and understand how these changes may impact our understanding of stellar evolution and the broader cosmos.